Hey, what's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, from down here at Dynamics Music. And I got another really quick uh, Studio One 3 uh, tip that I wanted to drop on you guys. I'm trying to drop all these tips because these are things that I was searching for uh, when I was kind of going through my different transition from moving from Logic Pro X to Studio One 3. Uh, and there were some things that I was so used to doing in Logic that I found that I couldn't do uh, in Studio One either by default or just uh, by not, you know, just, you know, simply, you know, as I did it quite simply as I did it in Logic. But uh, one of the things uh, that I had problems with when I came over here with Studio One was looping uh, sections like 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 taking a single like four bar loop that I'm drum loop that I may have created or whatever and looping it across the entire song because it doesn't change all the way through the song. Well, what I would have to do when I was over here in Logic, if I had any kind of a loop, I could do one or two things. I could either go here to the edge and it would pull up this little loop bar and I could pull it out and loop it for as long as I needed to do. Uh, or I could easily just press the L button and it would loop it for the whole duration of the entire song. Uh, you know, and then some other things, you know, for those who just don't know how to do this in Logic, you can even go up here and click the loop button and it'll do the same thing. Uh, so that was uh, something that I did very, 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 very often in Logic. And then when I came over to Studio One, I found that there was no simple, simple way to do this. You know, they didn't have the, the thing where I could come over here and pull it out and loop it or, you know, a little loop button that I can check that I could check you know to make it do it so what i ha uh, what i found out is the best way to do it is to duplicate uh the quickest way to do it and that's to press the d key on your computer keyboard and it duplicates as i'm pressing the key d key it duplicates it now you could just duplicate it as many times as you want what i like to do i duplicate it several times like that uh and then i kind of zoom out and get a whole section because it'll duplicate whatever you select and then just duplicate like that uh, and that is the way that I have the workaround I found for looping uh, uh, different sections, uh, so to speak, so to, so to speak here in Studio One. So that's just a little quick tip. Hopefully this helps somebody uh, that's been that was like me that's making the transition over to Studio One Three uh, from Logic or any other DAW, and you're used to looping things in some you know some sort of facts fashion, uh, but. Um, that's how I found out how to do it. All right. Hope this blessed somebody. You know how we do. Share this video. Tweet this video. Do all those good things like that. Hit the little like button, the little thumbs up button down at the bottom for me. Just hit that uh, if, if this uh, video was a blessing to you. All right. Holla at your boy.